First time ever on the Brass Tax YouTube channel. The first ever game review. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Buckle up. What's going on people, it's your boy Brass Tax in this bitch, you already know, you already know. Existing subscribers, I love you guys, 900 strong. New subscribers, welcome. You done fucked up around here, but you probably came here for this game review. I've played pretty much all the Resident Evil uh, games, uh, one through to six. I think fourth is the best one, and it subsequently got worse since number four. And I haven't really had a chance to play any of the spin-offs, but I heard they're pretty decent. You remember that demo, Silent Hills PT? That was an awesome demo, and that was, I think, what a lot of people were waiting for. They were like, shit, this is survival horror in this bitch. First person, scary as hell. I shit my load, I ain't gonna lie to you. That game got cancelled, so then we had Resident Evil Biohazard, and they came up with two demos in this bitch. The Kitchen and the Beginning Hour. God damn, I played that shit in VR, and I'm not gonna even lie to you, your boy shit his load completely. Your boy lost seven pounds shitting his load in those two demos. So naturally, your boy went straight to the PSN store and pre-ordered that bitch. So here we are, played the game, got it done in around 11 hours, 10 and a half hours. Played the whole game through VR in this bitch. You're the main character, your name's Ethan, and you get a VHS tape right at the beginning of the game. It's your ex, an ex you haven't seen for three years, an ex you've presumed is dead in this bitch. But the bitch seems very much alive on this VHS tape, telling you, I love you, I'm sorry, basically hitting you with a Dear John letter in this bitch. Saying, listen, I'm alive and well, I love you. Whatever you do, don't come and find me. If that ain't reverse psychology, I don't know what the fuck is. Women be doing that shit. Women you scandalous, women you nasty. Now you know if the guy cares about you, he's gonna come find you. Most of us be wishing our exes are there, but in this case, he happy she alive in this bitch. So he's a nice guy. Stupid, but a nice guy. So he is gonna go and find her. You are making your way towards the mansion in this bitch. Going through the back. No, not like that trying to almost break your way in. Now, when you see this mansion, people, this mansion looks like it was stolen out of the Amityville horrors in this bitch. This mansion, just by looking at it, says to me, stay the fuck away. If I walked up to that mansion, had a look at it, I'd be like, all right, time to go. I ain't sticking around that bitch. But like I said, this guy got some balls in this bitch. You find yourself making your way to the mansion. This shit creepy as hell. It's especially more creepy in VR. 100%. What ensues is survival horror to the core. There hasn't been a game like this in a long time. First person, scared to open the door in this bitch. Remember the first Resident Evil games when you open the door and you get the black screen behind the door, it would just open, it would creak open it and you would just be scared as hell because you didn't know what was on the other side. This is not only that, but then you gotta look behind you, make sure there's no one creeping around you and shit. This shit is next level scary. Creeping round corridors. Too scared to even walk down in this bitch. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you saw me play this game, you'd be like, what a pussy. Your boy was scared to just walk in this bitch. I was standing there, and you know how you see these stupid people in, in, in horror movies? And you know how they'd be walking really slowly in the house? Because they'd be too scared to go any faster. You're like, come on, get the fuck out of there, yeah? That's me. I was walking too slowly, just too scared to even turn the corner in this bitch. And that is because of two reasons. Number one, the house, the game, the mansion specifically is absolutely dripping with atmosphere. Number two, the sound is A1 in this bitch. You're hearing shit from all the way around thinking, what the fuck was that? You come across various creatures and unsavory characters in this mansion. These moldy mofos, right? Look scary as hell at first. You get used to them quickly though, because you know how they move and then you can like, you figure them out. You figured out their movements, you figured out how to counter this shit. You got other people split up in different sections of the mansion, ready to just kill your ass. That wasn't bad enough. You got a family that looks like they were stripped straight out of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They are relentless, they are nasty, they are creepy. They're the in-laws from hell in this bitch. So the main objective of this game is twofold. Number one, survive. Number two, get the fuck out. It's a Resident Evil game, so you know it's a lot more scary than it sounds. God damn! 
A1. Graphically, it looks gorgeous. Played on the PlayStation Pro with the VR headset, it looks very, very nice. It's very immersive as well. And obviously the Pro gives it a little boost graphically. They have managed to go back to their roots on this bitch with survival horror, especially the sound. I have to rate the sound here because what they do is, and usually in, in horror movies and in certain games, you will know what's coming. There's two giveaways to this. Usually before you're walking into some big ass boss battle, there'll be a whole bunch of guns and shit to load up on. So you know bullshit's coming. None of that here. Then there'll be a music build up ready for a shock. None of that here. Shit just jumps at you with no warning whatsoever. And I'm telling you, you're gonna jump. You're gonna jump. I advise you to play this game by yourself, in the room by yourself, because people can look at you and they're gonna laugh in this bitch. Especially with the VR headset, combat's pretty easy if you got the bullets, right? Because what you're doing is you're aiming with your, your VR headset, which is a lot easier to get headshots and what have you. If you're not rationing your bullets, you're gonna have a serious, serious problem because what the game does is gives you just enough, just enough, not one pubic hair more, just enough bullets to get the job done in this bitch. So you gotta be very smart with your ammo. You know, I think, I feel that there were a lot of puzzles in previous uh, Resident Evil games, but with this one specifically, there are only a few, okay? But the, but the way they've done it and the way they've handled it, it's like a um, iOS game. I can't remember the name of it, but you know how you've got to align certain objects to make it form a picture or whatever. These are the kind of things you're doing in this game. So it's not going to be too hard. It's not going to be too difficult. It's pretty straightforward. Those puzzles I liked. I wouldn't have minded more of them. You know, all the little pickups you have everywhere, you know, a book magazine, you know, a piece of paper. All of them add to the story. All of them are, they're like side notes as to what's really going on here, you know, which, which is a good thing. So I would pick up everything you see. Do you know what I mean? Because it's definitely gonna give you a much more fuller experience of the game. And the one main thing I didn't like, the game itself is very creative in the way it's handled. And it's got a nice new spin on Resident Evil. You know, it's nicknamed Biohazard. This is what the game was initially called back in the day anyway. This is the original name for Resident Evil, Biohazard. It really is Biohazard. The creatures specifically that I mentioned before are kind of like moldy creatures. The only problem I have with them is there's too much of that kind of monster. Do you know what I mean? There's too much of that kind. And I think after a while you get very used to them. You know, so I think they could have been a bit more creative with adding a few more. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of resistance, but they could have added a bit more variety in the resistance. That's really my only gripe with the game. Visually, it looks beautiful. If you're not playing with the VR, it looks, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous looking game. Dripping with atmosphere. There's not really a lot bad I can really say about it. You really want to know what happens next. There are parts where you may feel it drags on a little bit, but you still want to soldier on through that shit because you want to see what happens next because you are very invested in the story. So in that respect, it's a win-win. Personally, I love the game. My score for this game, people, put quite simply put, is it's a nine out of 10 game, which you know what that means? Brass taps seal of approval of this bitch. Great game, guys. Pick it up. It's a return to form of the Resident Evil series. And if this is the start of a reboot of, of the franchise, if they're going to go on from this in this way, I am all in. Take my money. That's really all i got to say about it, people. I hope you guys liked the review. If you did, please hit the like button. Definitely subscribe. And I'm going to catch you next time.